my name is Sam Allred and welcome to Situmap. Today we're going to learn about KML files and how we can use them to separate our assets into various layers. So to begin with, we need to have a map to work with. So I'm going to go to my bookmarks menu and select a bookmark that I previously created. This will give us a nice area of operations to work with. So now I'm going to create a couple of basic maps that we can use and put them into different layers. So I'm going to go to my push pins drawer. And I'm going to select a couple of push pins here. For this map, it'll be water themed, so I'm going to pull out some water drops. I'll also pull out an anchor or two. So now that I have this map basically created, we need to export it out as a KML or KMZ file. So I'm going to select return from the bookmarks menu and then save slash load in the main menu and then save. So now I want to rename my file to demo underscore water. You don't have to do this, but it'll make it easier for me to know which one's which. And then I'm going to change the file type to KMZ by selecting this drop down menu. Save. So now that I've saved it, these assets aren't needed anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and remove them from the map. Now I'm going to create a second file. This one's going to be fire themed. So I'm going to select fire and drag them out to a couple of buildings here. And maybe even a car fire. Okay. So now we need to repeat the process that we did before and export this out as a KML slash KMZ file. So I'm going to hit return on the, on the remove menu and select save slash load in the main menu and then save. Now like we did before, I'm going to rename this so it's easier for me to know which one's which. Demo underscore fire. Then I'm going to change the type to KMZ and then save. So now that this has been saved in a separate file, likewise, I don't need these assets on the screen anymore. So I'm going to hit remove and remove everything. Now the reason why I did this is just so I can show you that each one of the assets are on their own individual layers. I didn't have to remove them, but it makes it easier to see. So now I'm going to select layers on the left hand side. And then I'm going to hit add layer. And from the layer menu, I'm going to select the layer type that represents the one that I want to pull in. In our case, KML slash KMZ. And you can see both of our files that we previously saved are right here. So I'm going to select fire and hit open. And then I'm going to add the water layer. So I'm selecting demo underscore water and hit open. So now both of my layers have popped up here in the add layer menu drawer. So when I toggle them on, you can see that each one of the assets are individually controlled by the buttons on the left hand side. One other pretty neat thing you can do is you can select the cog next to the layer you wish to edit. This opens the options menu. We can rename the name inside the layer drawer or even change the transparency. So in this case, I'm going to drop the fire transparency down to about half. And you can see that that represents those fire assets on the map. They are now at half transparency. This concludes our video on how to separate your assets out into various layers with the Citra map. Thanks for watching everybody. 